Thank you so much. And I really want to thank the men and women of the New York City Police Department. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, we want to give you an update on the protests that uh, has been taking place at Columbia University. More than 100 protesters occupied Columbia's uh, South Lawn for over 30 hours. This was in violation of the university's rules. Uh, Columbia University has an obligation to protect their students, and the university's president reached out to the NYPD in writing and asked for support. Uh, after numerous warnings, uh, campus security and the NYPD uh, issued to the students and those who were occupying this space, uh, NYPD officers moved in to ensure the safety of the campus, the students, and the staff made more than 108 arrests, and the NYPD ensured that there was no violence or injuries during the disturbance. Columbia University's students have a proud history of protests and raising their voices. Students have a right to free speech, but do not have a right to violate university policies and disrupt learning on campus. I know the conflict in the Middle East has left many of us grieving and angry. This is a painful moment for our city, for our country, and for the globe. New Yorkers have every right to express their sorrow, but that heartbreak does not give you the right to harass others, to spread hate. And I urge everyone who is protesting to please, please do so peacefully and respectfully because we would not be in a city of lawlessness. In this moment of heightened tension around the globe, we stand united against hate. I'm going to now turn it over to the Commissioner, Police Commissioner, Commissioner Caban. Okay, thank you.